And unfortunately, neither the Cherokee's status as one of those five civilized tribes, nor their admixture with the Scots would spare them. In 1830, President Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act, and this began the forced exodus of Native American peoples from the, what was then, American frontier. The Cherokee sued to keep their lands and won support from the National Republican Party, which was an anti-Jackson party, which was a precursor to the modern Republican Party. Ralph Waldo Emerson also lobbied aggressively on behalf of the Cherokee, as did Samuel Worcester. Worcester was known for translating the Bible into the Cherokee language and also helping to establish the first Cherokee language newspaper. The Cherokee were successful in court and in fact did win their case, but Jackson just ignored them and allowed Georgia to do what it wanted, pushing the Cherokee further and further out. With the judicial and the executive branches of the government in conflict, it fell to the legislative to try and find a solution, a middle ground, and they eventually did, organizing a sale of Cherokee land.